Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Top Shelf Spotlight. I'm Savannah Perry, and I am reaching out to you directly from beautiful, sunny California. Now, the last post that we did on LinkedIn where I talked about OpenAI, ChatGPT, generated a lot of interest and tons of follow-up questions. So what I want to do with you today is share a little bit of do's and don'ts when you're using the technology. So let's start with the obvious, the don'ts. So number one, don't use ChatGPT to draft legal agreements. And in fact, I had a lengthy conversation with a couple of lawyers on this one, and they are seeing some occurrences of some firms using the technology to draft release forms for when they're terminating employees. So that is a big don't. Legal language needs to be drafted in accordance to the state in which it originates. ChatGPT, not the right tool to use in this case here. Second biggest one is having the engine learn and feed through PII data, so personal, well, personal identifiable information. That is a big don't. The third one, the unfortunate one, is the concern and the risk of releasing identifiable information, so connecting those solutions with third-party technologies that you may be hosting in-house that may be having access to PII and, God forbid, HIPAA certified information. And last but not least is using the information and having it feed through confidential or trademarked information. You do not want that information out in the wild. Again, you'd be violating confidential agreements and so, so, so on and releasing trade secrets. Now the do's of what you can do with this technology. Uh, using it to enhance subject lines uh, in emails, uh, helping you write social media posts and content that are going to really resonate with your audience. Uh, experimenting, using it to link out to third-party information to create a really rich repository that's going to help people. Uh, and this is one of my favorites in the do's, is teaching the system to learn about your own applications and solutions, how they work, to really enhance the experience of your help desk in terms of how they support your associates or how they support your customers. Now, so what, here's what I encourage you to do. Take the do's and don'ts and set, up, set them up as guardrails. I don't think we really necessarily have completely seen this proverbial iceberg of what we should be doing with this type of technology. But go out, experiment, try it. Uh, little SWAT teams, iterate with it. And then when you find that one nugget, try to incorporate it inside of your policies, your procedures, your operational processes. And best of all, come back to us, let, know, let us know about your experimentations. So I hope this segment has helped you out. I'd love to see your comments below the post. And if you want to reach out to Mercatus, you know how to find us, Mercatus.com, uh, even better. Uh, send me a DM, happy to answer your questions. See you guys soon.